We're really lucky to have good friends up here. A family friend, Bruce, is gifting us an airplane ride today. And everybody's a little nervous, a little excited, but we're gonna be brave and You're not going go. anymore. Well, I don't know. There, there might be another girl coming with us, but if she doesn't, I'll go if you want me to. Do you want me to? So that's why, yeah, you should go with. Okay. here in the outside garden today checking to see when I can put some plants in the bed. I've got some seedlings that are really ready to get out of their trays. Um, as you can see, it's still a little frozen on the top. We are supposed to get a bunch of rain here in the next couple days. So I imagine after that, I was kind of hoping I could plant before that but I don't think that's gonna happen. But I'm trying to figure out when it's time to uncover this garlic. And I think it's now because I don't think we're getting any more snow. But um, we'll be getting rain and the weather's gonna stay above 30 in the 40s, I think, for this next week. So hopefully this is the thaw. I think I can uncover that. All right, Owen's gonna help me uncover the garlic bed today. Cause I think we've seen the last of our significant snowfall. So let's roll these big rocks away. And then we'll lift this up, okay? Can you roll that one off the Is there another one under there? No. Under there? There. Then let's take it and roll it this way, actually. Get that rock. planted last September, I think. So I'll show you what's coming up in this garlic bed. So here's a few of them starting to come up. That's pretty exciting. I've never grown garlic before, and this was, I believe it was an elephant garlic that I got online from somebody on Facebook. And I ate some of it before planting it, and it was the best garlic I've ever had. So I'm really looking forward to this. So it's a beautiful day up here. 
can see sunny skies and clear and it's not even windy, but we just lost power. So it's something that happens up here quite a bit, not usually during nice weather. So here's a few things we do when the power goes out. Can you play something for us? Cool. It's getting that's smoky in here. <laughs> it's getting smoky in here a little bit because my fan isn't working, and but my oven or my stovetop does. So hopefully everything goes beep and comes back on shortly. What's so shoot? Well, it just came back on. Everything. <laughs> All the lights are on again. I was Look at me! I was prepared to go the whole three days. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, that's nice. Yeah. Well, now we can get back to work, huh? So I've got some seedlings in here that are way overdue. I thought it would be warmer by now, <laughs> but it's not. So see, these tomatoes here, they need to get out of that tray. The peppers are probably okay, the onions. Um, this pak choy I really would have liked to have had out already, but we got snow last week early, a pretty significant amount. This was us about a week ago on April 22nd. So I didn't put them out there but I think I'm going to this weekend. But look at even the cat has started chewing on these leaves because <laughs> I have them down so low. Here's some more tomatoes that are needing to get out and more tomatoes that are needing to get out. And you can see they're looking a little yellow in areas. And that is usually a nitrogen deficiency. So I have been using something called now let me grab it. Toons Organic Fish and Seaweed Fertilizer. I think it's been doing a pretty good job. I just have been using like a capful in my watering container, which is probably about a quart. So a capful of this in a quart of water. And then um, I do that like once a week. I probably water these every other day now that they're so big. So every three waterings. I'll put a little bit of this in there. It does not smell good at all, as you would imagine, but it does the trick. I think these are probably looking the worst, and you can see they were planted on 315, and today is April 28th, so they really need to get out of there. I'm just looking at this tag here. These are actually one of my favorites, the Thorburns terracotta. So I don't want to lose those. So these are the first tomatoes that I am taking out of the seed blocks or the soil blocks. And they look like they've all grown together. So when I lift this up, yeah, oh boy. So these soil blocks can also get rip bound, but my fault for leaving them in there that long. Because the idea behind the soil blocks is that you don't want to have to tear the roots apart like this. And that's exactly what I'm going to have to do. And the cool thing about tomatoes is the deeper you plant them, the more roots they'll have and the stronger the plant. So I'm actually going to pour a little bit of the potting mix out so I can get these pretty far down there. Just 
checking on the worms today. They've done a good job eating through the carb cardboard. Looks like they've got enough food. I'm just gonna get the cardboard wet again. That was fun, huh? Not for you. No. Not no at our all moods for me. switched. Oh my god, I don't even know if I can drive the car. We'll just take a couple minutes. Oh. That was awful. Where's your water? Right here. Drink it. I don't know if I should put anything in my stomach. I'm glad you guys had fun though. Oh, God. Uh. Did you want to go in the first place? Yes, she did. Yeah. I don't want to go ever again. <laughs> oh I'm my really god. Sorry. It's okay. 